Hello students, how are you all doing? Stay home, stay safe. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the successors and the predecessor. So now in this session, we are going to uh, discuss about rounding of the given number. So you all know, this is the Indian system of numeration, you all already know this. So which has ones period, thousands period and lakhs period. So we are learning the seven digit number, is it not? See first is ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakhs and ten lakhs. In the ones period we have three places that is ones, tens and hundreds and in the thousands period I have two place thousand and ten thousand. In the lakhs period we have two place lakhs and ten lakhs. So you all know all this already, is it not? See now we are going to see how to round off the given numbers. See first question 16 lakhs 78,123 to the nearest 10,000. Okay, see let me write it here 16 lakhs 78,123. See here to the nearest 10,000 we are going to round off the given number. Okay, so see here 78,000. See here in the 10,000 I write 70,000 and then 80,000. See if I consider in 10,000 see it will be 70,000, 80,000, 90,000 it goes on. See 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. So likewise we have to round off the given number. See it, here it is 78,000 which lies between 70 and 80. Is it not 78? It lies between 70,000 and 80,000. See if it is, what is the middle value which is 75. See if it is greater than 75, I take, I consider the upper limit which is 80,000. If it is less than 75, I go to the lower limit which is 70,000. See here, whether 78, it is greater than 75 or less than 75, you all know it is greater than 75, is it not 75, 76, 77, 78, it is in between 75 and 80. So what I write is, write all the number as it is 16 lakh and 80,000, okay. So this is a rough estimation, okay. See whether we round it up or we round it down, how we have to consider? If it is greater than the middle value, we round it up. If it is lesser than the middle value, then we round it down, okay. See 78, it is greater than the middle value which is 75. So we round it up, that is rounding up we say, that is 78, I round it to 80. So 16 lakh and 80,000, is that clear? Is this clear for you all? So let us see one more example, see here, 34 lakhs. 34 lakhs 54,000 and 17 to the nearest 100, okay, to the nearest 100. Now see, which is in the, to the nearest 100, 17. See if it is 100, how do we say it is 100, 200, 200. 300 likewise it goes on. See here that is 100 and 200, 300 that is how we write. See here look at the next digit which is 17 is it not? So if it is from 0 to 100, see it starts with 0, 0 to 100, 100 to 200, 200, 300. What is see 17? Where it, it lies, it lies between 0 and 100. Is it not lies between 0 and 100? So what is the middle value which is 50? Is it not? So what is the middle value from 0 to 100? Which is 50. And see our value what is given 17. Whether it is greater than 50 or less than 50. See 17, it is less than 50. Is it not? So, I have to 
write it to the lower limit that is 34 lakhs and 54,000 okay 34 lakhs and 54,000 see if it is like 54 or 58 I go to the upper limit and then I will write 34 lakhs 54,000 and 100 do you all understand since it is 17 which is less than 50 I write to the lower limit that is 34 lakhs 54,000 okay I need not add anything in the 100 place just 0 as it is I write so 54,000 so look at the next question 43,978 see here 43,000 978 to the nearest 1000 see look at the 1000 see only this we have to consider to the nearest 1000 see here what is given 3978 so to the nearest 1000 means I go 3000 4000 5000 this is what thousands is it not 1000 2000 3000 4000 it goes on see what is given 3978 see this 978 whether see what is half of this 3000 to 4000 which is 3500 see here this 978 it is greater than this is it not greater than 500 this 978 it is greater than 500 so it goes to the upper limit that is 444,000 see I have to write 44,000 is this clear see what is the idea is if it is rounding up I add 1 to the thousands place since it is to the nearest thousand see here to the nearest hundred means to the hundred place if it is in the rounding up I add one if it is in the rounding down I should not add anything see here look at the fourth 10 lakhs 59,000 10 lakhs 59,850 5 to the nearest 1000 see here to the nearest 1000 so we are going to consider this 9855 so see here this 855 it is greater than 500 is it not it is greater than 500 so I add 1 to the 1000 place since it is given to the nearest 1000 so when I add 1 to 9 what happens it becomes 60 is it not to the thousands period if I add 1 59 plus 1 it becomes 60 so what will be our answer 10 lakhs and 60,000 is this clear which is 10 lakhs and 60,000 okay so look at the fifth question 23 lakhs Twenty three lakhs sixty three thousand five hundred and seventy to the nearest tens. So tens means we consider only these two seventy. So see here yes, seventy tens. What is the sequence? It should be ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Likewise. So seventy and eighty. Is it not so? Seventy. See seven after this zero. So if it is 0 to 10, if it is greater than 5, I go to 10. If it is less than 5, I go to the minimum value which is 0. So what will be the answer? It will be 23 lakhs 63,570. Why? Because the 0 it is 
the lower limit so i should not add anything here just zero as it is so it is 23000 sorry 23 lakhs 63570 suppose if it is see for example if suppose the number is 77 what happens it will be 23 lakhs 63000 so here it is greater than 5 so when i add 1 here it becomes 580 okay see if this number it is greater than because what is half of 10 see if it is 10s what is half of 10 which is 5 see if this number is greater than 5 i add 1 to the 10s place so it becomes 7 plus 1 8 which is 23 lakh 63 580 but in the question what is given so what is the question 570 so zero it is less than 5 so i write as it is which is 570 23 lakh 63570 okay so compare the given numbers using greater than less than or equal to so you all know this see here first to compare the numbers first consider the period wise that is take the lakhs period first 3 lakhs and 3 lakhs they are equal then move on to the next period thousands period 45000 45000 they are equal next to the ones period see here what is given 976 here it is 876 which is greater 976 is greater therefore you mark the greater than sign okay this is greater look at question b 43 lakhs 23675 here 43 lakhs 2672 first consider the lakhs period first it is 43 here also 43 and the thousands period we have 23 here it is 2 now which is greater 23 is greater so 43 lakh 23675 is greater now see here third sum 3 lakhs 3 lakhs 34000 34000 879 879 3 lakhs 879 so they are equal okay so this is how we compare so to compare the numbers uh, just compare it period wise that is first consider the lakhs period and then thousands period and then the ones period next round up or round down the given numbers to the nearest lakhs okay to the nearest lakh so which is the lakhs place here the sixth digit is it not 1 2 3 4 5 6 6th digit will be the lakhs place so 1 is the 1 lakh 23432 so what is round up or down see here ones tens lakh so just represent it here 1 23 432 see here we are going to round it to the nearest lakhs here it is 1 lakh 23000 you consider the remaining digit okay see here 23432 what is half of lakh you all know half of lakh is 50000 so if it is greater than 50000 okay if the next digit that is here it is 23432 if it is greater than 50000 we round up okay we round up if it is less than 50000 we round down see here when it is round up see here whether it is greater than 50000 no so we have to round down when we round down we need not do anything just write 1 lakh okay we have to write just 1 lakh see if it is see here look at the next sum 13 lakhs 
thirteen lakhs fifty nine thousand three hundred and twenty five. So in this also we are going to round off to the nearest lakhs. See here, here it is three lakhs. So what is half of lakh? We know it is fifty thousand. So if it is see the next value. What is the value you all can read? Which is fifty nine thousand three hundred and twenty five. It is greater than fifty thousand, is it not? Fifty nine is greater than fifty. Since it is greater, we are going to round up. That is, I am going to add one to this lakhs place, so which becomes fourteen lakhs. Is this clear for you all? So it will be fourteen lakhs. So next question, forty three lakhs fifty four thousand nine hundred and eight. Forty three lakhs fifty four thousand nine hundred and eight. So we are going to round off to the nearest lakh. See what is here in the lakhs place? Three lakh. See look at the next digit, which is fifty four thousand nine hundred and eight. So what happens? It is greater than fifty thousand. You all know. See look at the thousands period, which is fifty four. Here it is. 50 is it not so 54 is greater so whether we have to round up or down we have to round up that is i add 1 to the lakhs place which becomes 44 lakhs okay now look at the question d 98 lakhs Ninety-eight lakhs sixty-eight thousand seven hundred and nine. Ninety-eight lakhs sixty-eight thousand seven hundred and nine. See here, we are going to round off to the nearest lakhs. See, look at the next value, which is sixty-eight thousand seven hundred and nine. See, it is greater than fifty thousand. You all know, sixty-eight is greater than fifty. Therefore, we have to round up. That is. I add one to this eight. So what happens? Ninety nine. So ninety nine lakhs. So is this clear? Okay, go through, go through it again and again. If any doubts, you can ask me in the WhatsApp group. Thank you.